Alrighty, good morning, afternoon, and evening, whenever you're sitting down to watch this episode of the Caffeinated Dad Gaming live stream tonight. We're, we're going for broke, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to do our very, very best to finish A Realm Reborn tonight. That is the goal. That is what I'm going to do. I uh, uh, have been talking to Galactic, and I was like, you know what? I think I'm, I think I'm going to put my foot in the ground and say, we're, we're going... We're going all the way in. It, you know, this stream can't end until A Realm Reborn is finished. But then I realized that, like, I think after there's, like, post quests immediately after. So it isn't just, like, what you're going to do. It's just, uh, um, <laughs> just go straight into, like, more stuff right after. So, uh, uh, yeah, I, there's, there's, there's quite a bit that goes on. I'm going to try to finish the base story arc and and i have a feeling and i kind of know that we're gonna have to deal with the uh the ultima weapon uh yeah i just want to beat base a realm reborn base a realm reborn that's all so uh vernicular ham you actually did mention it so i wasn't here on monday for my normal monday night stream the reason being is that i was invited i received a personal invitation to fly out to los angeles and play Path of Exile 2 Early Access, an exclusive kind of like play test for the game. Um, and I, it was actually on Monday. I flew back Monday night. I got an hour of sleep because I don't sleep on planes. Um, and uh, I had to go straight to work <laughs> the next morning <laughs> at 9 a.m. So it was okay. Lots of coffee. I was ready. I, uh, I was already mentally prepared for it. Um, the videos uh, that I got from the stuff um uh, uh from the play test that they go out tomorrow uh, i got approval for them they go out tomorrow um around my normal time around 11 o'clock so it was it, it was really really cool honestly i went there i met a lot of other content creators if you guys are familiar with like the arpg market i'm i saw uh Kriparian, i saw uh uh zizarin i believe is, is just his name um talkative try if you're familiar uh, a, a bunch of people possibly the uh one of the coolest people i actually got to talk to zizarian thank you um one of the coolest people that i actually got to sit down and talk to um was uh preach i got to talk to preach gaming him and i had like a 40 minute conversation like and we just talked about random random stuff because he was also uh doing final fantasy 14 right around that time um it was uh it was like one of those moments because i had followed him for the longest time like i watched him when he did world of warcraft stuff and him and I got to uh, uh, have a conversation, sit down and talk for a little bit. And you know what's funny is that we didn't even really, you know, go into like in-depth uh, aspects of the game, you know? Like we didn't go super crazy into it. Uh, we actually just talked about like being parents <laughs> and business stuff. Uh, so that was, that was my, uh, uh, that was my big like, oh, like I told my, uh, my wife went along with me mainly because, uh, I needed a manager. And I say that she made sure I was on time. She made sure I got the sleep I needed. Uh, she made sure that, you know, the camera was charged and all that stuff. So she was helping out in the back end. She, she lost me for 40 minutes and she comes over and she goes, the hell are you doing? And Mike is sitting there and he goes, oh, hello. And, and she goes, oh, I see. Uh, another, yeah, you got caught into a conversation. I was like, at, like in my head, I'm like, what did preach? <laughs> I got to talk to him. Um, so it was cool. I got to see a, a bunch of people. I got to meet uh, Jonathan Rogers. I got to meet Octavian who worked for Grinding Gear Games. Um, I did want to show you guys this because I thought that this was pretty cool. Wait. Uh, it out of the way, Mike. There we go. Damn, that zoomed in. Yeah, so we got the cool big box. Like, uh, here we are. So um, they played... Uh, you had a, a handful of classes that you could play. I chose the warrior, obviously, to stay along with it. Um, wow, that was very loud. They uh, um, gave you like a little pin, you know, kind of like, oh, hey, that's cool. There we go. Uh, uh, and then one of these large ass play mats. Look, you guys ready? Watch this. Ooh, skudunk. Look at that thing. This is this is hilariously large. Like. It fits up. I, I don't have the biggest desk, but it fits up the whole damn desk. Um, oh, wait, hold on. And then I got to show you guys this, right? So they got in and, and you'll see the uh, how I look in it because I'm not going to strip on camera. My wife told me not to. Um, it showed me how to look at it when or uh, uh, put this on when I uh, uh, stream. So we got this, right? Yeah, you guys can see it. So it's got the path of 
Path of Exile 2 shirt. Vernicular Ham, stop it. <laughs> so it's got the Path of Exile 2 shirt, right? Pretty cool. <laughs> the only sizes they had were mediums. All they had were mediums. That's all. <laughs> like, I, I'll be the first one to admit, I, I like I like my large shirts. I do. But, at like, I don't. I don't fit comfortably into a medium. I'm not saying I'm chunky, but I'm also not saying I'm, I'm the, you know, the most fittest person out there. I got some, I got some pudge. Like I got some, some healthy weight. You know, that's what I mean is healthy weight. And then we have this shirt is tight and you'll see it. I wore it for the videos that go out tomorrow, but you'll see it is tight. The kids can wear it. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens. And I don't know. Did I, did I include it in this one? Or is it that one? I think it might be that one. I've been using the hell out of it. They, uh, they gave me a coffee mug. Um, and, uh, I was like, they knew, they knew exactly who I was. Um, <laughs> they, they, they knew exactly what to do for me. So that was that they got me. I was like, yep, they got, they got the coffee mug. We're good to go. Um, it's called a dad bod. Tim, it's uh, not a dad bod. It's a father figure. There you go. <laughs> um, okay. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I got a bunch of videos coming out tomorrow. I got two going out tomorrow. I got uh, another one coming out later. Um, I want to get the footage tonight so that I can do my recap for the past two videos of uh, 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 footage uh, um, or for one of my last videos for uh, a realm reborn. And then I can start making my way towards heaven's word. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff to, uh, to get through tonight. Um, I want to thank you guys all for hanging out immediately. I got the skull mug. Ready? And then we put it in. And then we pour it in. I will say, being out in LA, um, my wife and I, we took the opportunity because we got there super early. We took the opportunity to go on one of those LA bus tours. If you guys don't know, they have like these bus tours that take you around to all the celebrities' homes. And uh, they're, uh, <laughs> they're like open air buses. So they basically sawed off the roof and put like a canvas over top. This guy must have been, the guy who we got, his name was Frank, and it, it, he definitely didn't look like a Frank. He was driving possibly, I don't know, 15, 20 miles over the speed limit, which was already like 70. This dude was flying. There were no seatbelts in this vehicle. It was just a straight up roller coaster ride. My wife's seat did not have a seatbelt. Like, I, just, I was like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. You got to hold on. So I, I like I grabbed her shirt and I was like, this this is fine. This will be safe. Like I'm holding on to her. Like I'm like, you'll be fine. This dude is going so damn fast. It was possibly one of the funnest, like just weird adventures that I had ever been on. It was it was so damn good. I loved it. It was it was highly recommend It's very expensive, of course, because it's L.A. Everything's expensive, but it was very much worth it. I, I, if you guys ever get a chance to go out there, go in for a fist fight It is hilarious. People on the west side of the U.S. cruise. No, that is an understatement. Frank was freaking flying. And then he's like pointing at houses as we're screaming by. He was like, oh, yeah, that's Lawrence Fishburne. Hey, Matrix. <laughs> like we were on two wheels at one point. I was like, I might die. <laughs> like what happened? You know, did you get to L.A., you know, run into issues? No, I flew out of a vehicle at Mach 2. <laughs> hey, Tim. Thank you for grabbing a cup. Welcome in for the club. I know, I know, I know. I want to tell you guys all the cool stories, but you guys also came here for the Final Fantasy stuff. I'm working on it. <laughs> here we go. So, uh, yes, let's go ahead and send out some mugs. Um, uh, Tim has joined in, so if you guys got the mugs, go ahead and send them up. Um, yes. All right. Retracting. We're back. All right, so I'm already here. We are good to go. Um, Galactic is here ready to uh, lead us on our adventure. So right now I'm at the Black Wolf's ultimatum. So I am just about, uh, we just got found out the big reveal that we saw last time was that Thancred was uh, La La Bread, La, uh, 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 the, the gluten allergy guy. Um, that was the big reveal and we flew off and now everyone's pissed. And now there's the ultimatum. Um, <laughs> fire hydrant with an axe. See, look, you ready? I actually really like the warrior armor, but the helmet, the visor stays down. Um, so the uh, guys gave them a, an ultimatum and said, basically, surrender or die is, is really what most bad guys do anyway. So surrender and die. And there we go. All right, let's see what, what the end is if it's voice acted. I hope it is. Yes. Yes. The 
Van Belsar's demands are clear. <laughs> She's tiny. Alas, our minds are not. Tiny. Mm, there we go. I've never been one to shy from a fight, but if this weapon of theirs can do all they claim. No, don't. Don't don't skip. Oh, press the wrong button. It has been five years since the calamity, and our people have scarce begun to rebuild their lives. Can we now, in good conscience, call upon them to risk what little they have left? I would spare them the pain of further conflict. Conflict, I say, though that would imply forces set in opposition. If the combined might of three primals could not stay Garlemald's new terror. I have to say something. I wanted to wait until she finished. I know Connie is is cool. She's got like the cool mom vibes, honestly. She's very I've noticed as she's spoken, especially in the voice acted bits, she is very meticulous of how she chooses her words. And yes, I I, I will poke fun at the royal strawberry. What she's cool. She's resistance so cool. can we offer? We who struggle to quell the foes who rise up within our own borders. Long have we fought the primals, but to what end? We strike them down at no small cost. Only Valgrax Modi, what's going on? Again. Are we to play this profitless game for the rest of days? I, for one, grow tired of it. Mistake me not. I do not propose to trade one tyranny for another. I love liberty. But conciliation need not mean oppression. By the Twelve, though neither of you cried surrender, your every word betokened it. Not that I deny there is truth in what you say, nor can I rightly claim that Ulda is ready to fight. Refugees flood our gates, and beastmen swarm our land, while the great and the good do nothing. My flames struggle to bear the burden. I put on a grand show at the remembrance service, made all manner of lofty promises. I've made good on not a bloody one. Do not blame yourself, Raban. You said only that which the people needed to hear. All present have done the same. Our citizens had become lost to hope. If our words serve to kindle it in them anew, our enemy condemns us while we labored to rebuild their lives. The Black Wolf built instruments of murder with which to end them. Damn. She seems to be the Her only one who has sense here. Speaks true. For all our failings, the people's well-being has ever been our foremost priority. That is actually, and now I'm looking at it because I'm paying attention to what you guys are saying. Uh, no making fun of, fun of the Lala ruler. The Namo is the best. I was look. So apparently, there's a upside down cow necklace. That is that's something. Um, uh, uh, Merle Web is a uh, Merle Web. Mer Merwib, I always get it wrong. Um, uh, she is a queen. She's actually, I really like the way that she's like, you could tell that there's a sense of aggression underneath, but it's like a dignified aggression, which even adds that extra layer because she's literally a part, the leader of the pirate capital. <laughs> White Namese, welcome in. Well, none among us. There we go. Oh, damn it, I skipped it. Aye, which is why we look to others to safeguard our future. But but see the thing is is that like she there's it's a tone of confidence is what I'm noticing is like what she is saying there's a tone of confidence um and and like she like nobody doubts it you know it's kind of like like when she walks into the room everyone's like oh shit oh damn she's here like that's that's what's cool is that she can command that level without actually having to be aggressive like Ralbon's your uh uh, uh Ralbon Ralbon 
uh, uh, angry wife beater guy is very, you could tell like he leads by aggression. He leads by force to some degree. Like he almost has to outwardly show it. Merle Webb no, doesn't, she does not. The scions of the seventh dawn, alas, they are gone. And the black wolf is at our door. Admiral, I fear you are mistaken. Ah, oh, damn it. Here he comes. <laughs> Alphinord, Minfilia, and Seven Hells, Master Garland? The other two are cool. Like, don't, don't hype him up. Don't be. And you, dear friend. <laughs> I'm still staying. <laughs> By Ralka, you're alive. Yeah. All of you. <laughs> Everyone hates the voice. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Exactly. It's like as soon as he walks into the room, everyone's like, God damn it. All right. He's here, guys. He's here. Your friend's here. He's the coolest guy ever. We like him. You know what's funny, though, is I actually... So in that conversation, and Jared, buddy, uh, uh, like definitely watch the beginning of it. Um, uh, of the stream because I talk about it, but I'll reiterate it again. Uh, I got to talk with uh, uh, Preach, Preach Gaming, and him and I actually immediately went straight for like kind of talking about Alpha No. Like we immediately like started talking because I was like, man, there's a lot of really good characters. He was like, oh yeah, there's lots of memorable ones. And I was like, uh, uh, my uh, least favorite is probably Aquanaut. And he was like, it's Alpha No. And, and 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 that's 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 his name. You got to get it right. And I was like, I understand that, like I do, but I purposely go through and take these characters and make fun of their names, like uh, Connie, Connie, uh, uh, Connie Senna, or uh, uh, and then Meryl Webb. I I did um, uh, Meryl Street. Uh, what's it? Uh, Minfilia. I didn't do anything with Minfilia. Alphanod is uh, Aquanaut. Like there's, there's just all these different things because it's Alphano just walks into the room and everyone's just immediately pissed. I love it. It's my favorite thing. Alphanod is the Bram Brahm of Guild Wars Two. But I know that cannot be. It is not the Aeorzean way. So uh, Alphano is actually the the voice actor is Sam Regal, Regal, Sam Regal. Is is the same voice actor uh, who played Brom in Guild Wars 2, Jared. There you go. Hear me, my friends. Why did they do that? Accepting the Gallians' offer to vanquish the Primals would be folly. Why did Why did they show her chest and then pan up? Why not like do a pan across? Folly, I say, for might is not the answer to the Primal threat. Indeed, the more the Empire exerts its strength, the worse matters <laughs> will become. Chess is good. Everyone's like, everyone's like, you know why. You know. <laughs> everyone, had the, everyone had the same, like, everyone shared the bra same brain cell, brain cell right there. <laughs> Primals enter this world when mortals call upon them, and mortals are wont to appeal to a higher power when they are desperate. Mortals are wont to appeal to a higher power Nothing when they are desperate. Nothing is okay. more certain to breed desperation in the beast tribes than the Gallians' <laughs> proposed solution. The cameraman's got it right. Got caught. <laughs> um, because that's where your gaze was when she started talking. <laughs> Why do you think the helmet stays down? It's like sunglasses. You can't see where I'm looking. <laughs> That's even worse. I don't know why I justified it. I should have just shut up. <laughs> All right, let's let's keep moving. The true answer lies in a lasting peace, <laughs> but the Garlians only know war and conquest. <laughs> Should Aorzia fall into their hands, there will be such suffering as none can imagine. I know that this is a lot of very important dialogue, but I can't get over the fact that it's like, it's like, look around, make sure nobody's looking at you. Everyone's listening to the squeaker uh, in front of us and chest, chest, chest. And they're on you. Okay. Keep looking. Keep looking. Look, look displeased. <laughs> it's just right there. <laughs> we are not blind to the many challenges that each of your nations face. Yet you must not give in. 
I remember five years ago when you wagered all for the sake of the realm. <laughs> Just remind me, put on some for, What you were willing to die. <laughs> that is for. very much making faces behind that helm. That's why it stays on. Oh yeah, there's there's a lot. <laughs> my eyes are <laughs> my eyes are up here. I made my choice. <laughs> Let the memories rekindle the fire in your heart, for Eorzea has need of it again. Come what may, we Scions will never give up the fight. And so I bid you stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm. <laughs> Nod. A great man once said that a shrewd merchant... Oh, quick. there we go. Ah, oh, damn it. I was trying to turn it up. I... Upside down Your cow necklace. Stern, you aren't kidding. I can't. Say, I can't not see it. In equal measure, how could I contemplate surrender? I know full well that all we have, we owe to the sacrifices of those who went before us. Yet the seeming hopelessness of our plight robbed <laughs> me of my insight. So, I, I'm just gonna call it here. Like. Don't get me wrong. They're they're uh, Alphano is making you know good points to stir people. Minfilia is trying to stir the leaders, make them like want to fight back. My only problem is is that there is no solution thus far that has been revealed. Right now, it's just like, come on, lads, we're we're down in the second half. We can do this. But there's like no like strategy. There is no plan. There's nothing that would really put us in eddies. It's just kind of like. Stop being a little bitch and get back in there. Like, that's all it really is. There's no strategy. Where's the plan? Where's the, the set steps that I, uh, that we're going to take? Or at least the beginning of it. Like, oh, well, there's, you know, it, like, the, the uh, ultimate weapons allergic to lasers. Oh, okay. We can work on that. We can do something. And it's just like, yeah. Yeah, I'm not surrendering. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not surrendering. Calling it shenanigans. Oh, damn. She heard me talking shit. We Gridanians have no love for war. Yet we have still less Stirring for my bars. those <laughs> who would threaten our homeland. Ever have we fought to protect those things we hold dear. And this shall never change. <laughs> Why is her mouth? Why was her mouth open? <laughs> Gridania will go to war. <laughs> Why was her mouth? We will fight the empire. Okay, it's a unicorn now. I can see that. It's an upside down unicorn. And all who abide here. <laughs> Why do they need? Who needs a plan? They have you to you to throw at. Them. <laughs> like we're gonna solve this problem. It's warrior like. Just go. <laughs> What was that animation? What the hell was that? That was that was the creepiest thing I've seen in this game. What the hell was that? <laughs> Yo, if you guys if you guys were watching, if you that's la la excitement, that is fucking horrifying. Just just cut back 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Like holy hell, that was the creepiest damn thing I've ever heard. Her animation looked like she would, I, that's what I would imagine if she were on fire. Like, she's like, <laughs> mouth open and everything. And then her mouth was moving like she was talking, but she was still laughing. What the hell was that? No. This is the sound of death, y'all. Like how everyone's just like, yeah, that's La La Fells. Well, they're fucking terrifying. <laughs> here, here. No, you shut up, you scary little strawberry. <laughs> why, why the hell is everyone laughing? At long last, I hear words worthy of a founder of the alliance. <laughs> well, Meryl Webb was laughing, but she's like, ha, 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 ha. Like, her eyes didn't blink, she didn't close them, <laughs> she was just looking at your soul. <laughs> this is fucking terrifying. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna 
gonna make fun of this in the video. Y'all know I'm gonna make fun of this. I might just have like 20 seconds of this uncut. Just like, it's just gonna be the laughing over and over again. Oh. I'm just out here, just play along and I won't get stabbed. <laughs> and they know they're evil. 2.0 was a rough time. I know that there's a lot, lot of fellow players in the chat, guys, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful. That was the first time I've seen the uh, the excited emote. Like that was the very first time that I saw it. So I like that that caught me off guard. Okay, like she she looked like, and I might edit in. There's fires, like like she's on fire, and I and I'm I'm probably gonna talk about it when I review the footage again. It's like she's like throwing her head back, and there's you use it. I, that's that it, we got to, like. I, I want to see if I can't get a demon voice uh, uh, overlay, like I can mess with the audio. Resolve. I might try to do it. But no man knows better than I that if you want art, you'd best be ready to die for it. With great danger comes the chance for great glory and great profit. We'll dance. Dude, <laughs> this is fine. That gold. was not fine. Know this well. <laughs> Don't worry, they're used to. How many times have we fallen into the pit of despair, only to have you pluck us out? I fair lost count. Everyone else looks fine. I don't like Alfie's pants. Well, like, why? Why does he have to show some thigh here? And like up here, like why doesn't he wear like regular pants? Sid, absolute tank. Look at this dude. Look at this dude's biceps. He has been lifting weights since like he was it like his bottle was a five pound dumbbell. All right, caffeinated, might be sleeping. Minfilia, it, we she's a minor, but for whatever reason she's still. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I know it's the match match her sister. I know, I know, I know. But it's like uh uh, like you think he would have like these are skin tight jeans, and I don't like them. Or skin tight like leggings. Reckless, the lot of you, <laughs> like bloody pirates. Well, I won't waste my breath trying to talk you round. On account of being a pirate myself. And the pirate who shrinks from a challenge is no pirate at all. That's why I joined the Maelstrom. She's ready to kick ass. Everyone else is. Those who would pick a quarrel with us must choose. Back down or go down with all hands. <laughs> Mom picked his clothes. <laughs> Mom picked his clothes. Let the Garleans come. The united strength of Limsa Lominsa will be. Are the corpses he's for. been lifting are heavy. <laughs> is to be free of this pall of darkness let it be by our own hands and by our own hands you mean you're gonna throw me at at whatever Hello there. more rank 75 thank you for grabbing the cup welcome in we must needs consider how the weapon must may needs. be brought to bear against us the Maelstrom will secure strategic points along the coastline. In the meantime, the flames will deploy at... <laughs> Why did they give her such a big dress? Why did they give her such a big puffy dress that she can't even walk normally? Like, I feel so bad for her. I know she's like the high, uh, uh, uh Saltess? Or what is it? She, this is the queen. Like, yeah, she's a queen, but like... Uh, the the poor walk like do you know how much effort it takes to throw sultana thank you she do you know how much effort it takes for her to throw back and forth is that really just how they walk in the game really yo i gotta i gotta i gotta like level up a a, a la la fell or something like that's the la la fell waddle i guess i didn't notice it with like tartaro and i was too busy like cheering on papa meow so they, they walk like they have a full diaper and they have no <laughs> What's wrong with him? He ain't got no knees. He ain't got no knees. <laughs> Pray leave the military oh. matters to us and retire to the waking sands. We will send word. He ain't got no knee gaps. <laughs> All right. Spent 45 minutes in a, in a five minute cutscene. 
All right, let's see. Let's see. Nicole, go ahead. Go ahead and walk. Oh wow, yeah, really big steps, actually. All right, that makes more sense. I also figured out RP walking too. Look, oh, you ready? There you go. We did it. Multi-directional. Okay, yeah. So I can I can kind of see walking walking with effort. La la waddle. Okay. Now we get to go return back to the praying stands. Can I sprint on this? He just walks slightly past me. There we go. All right, guys. Here we go. Back to Minfilia. Let's go. We got to go say hi to Minfilia. Um, yeah. So it it's exciting because I, I like I wanted to do all the the content the exclusive stuff for Path of Exile 2 but I also knew that I was like really close to finishing up a Realm Reborn so I was trying to balance out everything and and like kind of plan my schedule of like content releases now I will admit I I do have something that's uh, another one of those videos that are just kind of like out there but it's a game that I'm really excited about um, and it's called Dune Awakening. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it or have watched it. Um, I, I, I'm very much, oh look, they got new Scions. Um, I'm very, very much about, um, uh, 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 the Dune universe and, uh, and I'm, I had exclusive access to play Dune Spice Wars when my side channel was just nothing but RTS stuff. And Dune Awakening, I am just like... I'm so on board for because I love the movies, I love the lore, I love the story behind it, so uh, I, I'm kind of doing like a recap. It's still in closed beta and it's still a while away, but it's an MMO that I'm kind of actually pretty excited about to uh, uh, actually get to. My shift number, don't know, 14? Okay. All characters have the same walk speed, they need to compensate, they gotta take some big ass steps. Okay. We got the whole group. I cannot well express my relief to think that the Alliance came so close to surrender. But the fire in their hearts has been rekindled and they will fight to the last. He hasn't said anything. This warmth inside. Did you feel it too, grandfather? I would know something. Was that your power at work earlier? Nothing of the sort. The leaders of Eorzea had lost their way. I merely helped them to find it again. Oh, hello. Yes, our party returned just a moment ago. How close are you? So, uh, Garden, I don't hate Alfie that much. Yeah, I dislike him. I dislike him. I, I don't know, like, uh, we'll just say, like, I dislike him like a bad bowl of chili, I guess. Um, it's more so I made that face because he was like, this warmth inside, did you feel it too, Grandfather? And I'm like, that's kind of a weird line. I didn't, I didn't really like it. It wasn't my favorite. Wasn't my favorite. He gives you the run. <laughs> I set myself up for that. All I can that's all I could get out. That's all I get there. <laughs> Angel Alexander, welcome in. It's all right, Sid. See, I like that Sid's the engineer, but he's turned around. He turned around like he was ready to throw down. Like he was like, let's go. We must needs plan our next move. Pray continue liaising with your respective nations. Sid, would you be our man in Ulda? I'll be whatever and wherever you need me to be. Damn right. Because he's going to be at the gym. We haven't a moment to waste. All right, let's do this. Sankrit's fate weighs heavy on my mind. I cannot bear to think of him enthralled to an Asian. Mayhap you know this already, but the Asians are immortal beings without physical form. Since time immemorial, they have fanned the flames of chaos from the shadows. Okay, so Asians can't die. Look and seen, the Asians entrap and possess mortal men by means of malign artifacts known as crystals of darkness. 
He's he, so okay. Wait a sec. So Thancred isn't necessarily choosing evil. He isn't choosing violence to be a bad person. Um, he's possessed. He's possessed by an Askian. One such crystal may yet be the key to saving Thancred. Okay. All right. Less, less angry. This is a crystal of darkness. Where the hell was she keeping that, by the way? She ain't got no pockets. <laughs> Seneca, what's a going on? Replica. Mayhap, Creation happenstance, per chance. Obtained from anomalous crystals found across Eorzea. Say, it where, where, us, where did it go? Of it Valdezian, was down here. She just like... <laughs> I don't... I need to understand inventory. It's like that time that uh, Caffeinated was hiding bodies Arkham, in his inventory. His talents are exceptional. <laughs> we all had complete confidence in him. It was for this reason that none among us foresaw the danger in sending him to investigate the Asians alone. Don't question Hammersby. That's what I like. Believe. Do not question. But like, I, I was just looking at it. So she's got like the, the these are kind of like pants, right? Because like that's the in inside of her leg right there on, on at least the outline. Then here's the outside and they're kind of like skirt pants. But there's no pockets, at least no, none seeable. I don't Frankrid want to know. had been oh, striving to fill the void left by Louis Soir. Yet, it was plain that he was overtaxing himself. Yeah, he would volunteer for everything and work to you know his dizzy. But for logic's sake, mallet space. Got it. The echo comes with pockets. It's a bag of holding. <laughs> None of us have pockets. I wonder. <laughs> Does she ask you where you keep all your stuff? No, but I'm a warrior of light. I look like I have pockets, right? And the toll <laughs> taken by his exertions made him vulnerable to Asian influence. The crystal that binds Thancred must be somewhere on his person. If we could but destroy it, his Asian possessor would be compelled to relinquish control over him. You have proven the stoutest of allies, standing with us through thick and thin. Yet the most perilous struggle is still to come. For the sake of the realm and Thancred, I ask that you lend us your strength once more. <laughs> Thank you. Nothing. There's From no the thoughts in there. Yes, heart. I must kill again. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. There's one thought. As it. I am sure you are aware, <laughs> the realm was saved from certain doom five years ago by heroes known as the Warriors of Light. What you may not be aware of is that your many feats in service to the Scions have prompted folk to make certain comparisons. That's just peeking out of the bottom of the helm. It's exploding outside the helm. It is exploding. It is not just a little bit. Once more. Retainer is your bag I of holding. Confess, you do remind me of them. Yet remember this: however glorious the past, it is the hero's lot to be judged on the deeds of the present. <laughs> Mighty fine through that opening. It's great. That a mustache new is perfect. Threatens the realm, <laughs> and the people cry out for a savior. I believe that you are he. A warrior of light, <laughs> here in the present, guided Just call by the closet. The stash will not will. be contained. <laughs> Come, my friend. It's unga bunga Let time. Let us fight to safeguard the future of our beloved Eorzea. Everyone nodded in unison. The mustache of light. All right, let's do this thing. Let's see. Let's see how this one looks. Ah, I hate it. Hate it. The stash is its own nether portal. Synchronize nod. 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 <laughs>
why are they going to do Tartaru like this? Like, Tartaru can... There is no possible way her or Papa Meow can actually see this damn map. Why can't... They didn't even get him a damn step stool. Like, it is just straight, like... <laughs> they have no idea what the hell is going on there. The rest of these guys are assholes because they didn't even bother to get, like, just a box or a step stool. Like, like they could have done something more. There's a chair right here. Put them on the table. Put them up here. You guys are assholes to my Lala Fells. You jerks. Give him uppies. I, I'll help him out. I understand why we have mur murder lab. Yes. I understand why. We must needs isolate it from its sister strongholds. Elite Adventurer Unit. Just say Caffeinated Dad or Warrior of Light. Caffeinated, we would have, yeah, just say war, Warrior of Light. Don't even, don't even give us any adventurers. No, we know who it is. Named by the four all clans in the room. This reminds me of Total One. Hey, or is it mob for Civ? <laughs> Of course, I'll have to take command. Of course. At least he doesn't have to deal with all the old stuff now that they update. I say, Wimbies. I'm glad they had a strategy. <laughs> I like that they gave us <laughs> inspirational music. <laughs> like, yay! <laughs> we did it! Look at us go! Operation Archon. I know, I, yeah, yeah, I know it's the level up sound, but it, it did I level up mid, <laughs> mid quest, mid cutscene? Because that happens. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
is classic Final Fantasy victory music. Yeah, the biggest thumbs up. Like it. Elite unit of adventurers whose task it will be to see uh, each of Operations uh, uh, Archons. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Enough planning. It is time to kill. I oh, did. <laughs> Death comes. All right, let's do this. It's enough cutscenes. That was 45 minutes worth of cutscenes. <laughs> I'm ready to kill. I'm ready to fight. Let's go. Welcome to the penal ultimate. It's it's gonna be the stash is menacing. It's time to go. Uh, fun little tidbit. Uh, you might say. Uh, Actually wrote the victory theme uh, in 15 minutes for the original game. It's actually impressive. All right, I don't even know where the hell I need to go. I need to go. Anywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we ride. Let's go. Oh man, I'm clipping now. Look at me go. I actually got speed. And there are people still faster than me. This communication officer. Okay. Cape Westwind. First step is uh, purge of the realm. Okay. I don't know why I had to get off my mount for that. You were just kind of passing along. There. You can get scrolls to speed you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's like every every couple of levels, um, or uh, main story quest, you get something that speeds you up in that specific area. Go I just show him the stash and they'll run away in fear. Oh, I think that's what's funny too is that like I kind of did it as a joke initially, but it has become like so part of my identity in this game that I can't change it. Like I can't. <laughs> the stash. <laughs> All these people started showing up. I'm ready. I'm ready for a fight. Here we go. Nod. <laughs> nod. That's all we do is nod. Hey, hey, hey. Stop shooting tank stuff at me. Proceed to your objective, Zion. <laughs> the way has been cleared. <laughs> Thank you, Galactic. Actually, I think I can just run by this guy, right? Yeah, kind of. You'll excuse me. 
I have to go kill your boss. Walk straight up to <laughs> Look at this absolute unit. He okay, by the way, I just have to note immediately these these are guns on a side, right? Like those are guns on a sides, absolutely. Like it's it, it's actually pretty intense. He's got uh a, a guns, his shields and his guns. He reminds me of that Elden Ring player, the wall, where all he went through the entire game of Elden Ring with nothing but dual shields on each side. Like that's that's what he reminds me of. And then of course up here he's got like the Diablo mask, but that's just me. <laughs> this this dude flinch. <laughs> this dude flinched completely. Oh, the lighthouse in the back. That was a cool shot. Let's do it. <laughs> he just he just runs away. Bid you look at me. I am no son of Garlemade, yet Lord Van Belsaw saw fit to raise me to a station of great honor. He measures a man not by his birth, but by his worth. Such is his sense of justice. By the grace of his excellency, I am where I was born to be, upon the battlefield. He has given me noble cause to fight for, and worthy adversaries to smite. <laughs> oh, this is cool. I am, I am not wont to bear my steel needlessly, but if you are deaf to reason, axe out. Let's go, baby. In the name of, in the name of Lord Van Belsa, I, I'm not gonna try that. Sa, Sass Avarin, do swear to strike you down. Let's do it. I'm gonna throw an axe at him. I'm going to throw an axe at him. It's going to be my first move. Come on. Casting something. You're carrying the wrong way, bro. I would hope that he would hit us. That was pretty cool after this.
I would like to see him kind of almost as a trial boss. Like that would be. That I think that would be pretty cool, right? He used to be a trial boss. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's less exciting. Execution. Execution. For the kill, there's no mercy. The stash does not see mercy. All those years of me playing uh, MMOs and stuff like that and going through all these boss fights, I immediately am aware, wide aware of the targeting recticles, and I'm just like, it's natural. I don't even have to. I don't even have to do anything. Ugh, damn it. Is he digging into the ground? All right. Phase two. Okay. Round two. Let's do it. Gotta keep up my storm's eye buff. We're surging tempest. I can see you casting stuff. Come on, bring it on. Let's go. You dare attempt the stash to a challenge? Oh, that was a big juicy hit too. The only thing I will say is that I kind of wish that the targeting reticles and everything was kind of faster, you know? Like, I think that's the only thing that I would immediately say, like, I wish was faster. Because then it makes it, makes it, like, more real, I guess, in my, in, in that opinion. Got him. 
<laughs> go for the go for the exit. Give it time. It's teaching you first. Okay. All right. Later expansions. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? I got cooldowns. I got cooldowns for days. I didn't have tank stance on. I'm, I'm learning. Didn't need it. No, nobody questioned me not having my tank stance on. Good God, dude, just stay down. <laughs> this is, this is 110%. This is 110% the meme of Iron Man. It's like final warning or stay down, final warning. Like, good God. <laughs> Unga that bunk. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter, but I was waiting for someone to say, "Why isn't your tank stance on?" Because usually that's what you guys do. You won, but at what cause? Go to sleep. <laughs> go to sleep. It's like, pop, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> it's not like you needed tank stance. No, I know. I know. I know. But everyone tells me in, like, I've gotten comments in videos where all I'm doing is just out questing. And they're like, hmm, but your tank stance wasn't on. Mm, yeah, you should. You should fix that. That's what I get. And I always think that's hilarious. Didn't hear no bell. Hurrah! We did nothing! <laughs> Literally fought a guy who was too angry to die. Your first mistake was reading YouTube comments. The... Oh, wait, hold on. Stuff is happening. Here comes Thancred. I wonder if you throw gluten at him. Does he, like, explode? La la bread. Coffee barista of light. Should have tag stands on my questing so you don't pull aggro off yourself. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. <laughs>
Oh man, our Power Ranger group. <laughs> This dude's dead. He's just gonna get shot out of anger. Turn around and shoot him. Damn it, I was... Uh... I was waiting for him to just turn around and just murk that dude. I can't wait to kill her. He's not been bad. He, he, he's not been bad. Careers can be shot. There's a reason uh, guys is people. Guys isn't that tight. Okay, alright. I guess that he doesn't just Vader people for no reason. Well, I guess I guess I was given that thought too because if you remember, like one of the in, uh, initial uh, cinematics that we saw of the Garleans, they um, I can't I'm sorry I can't remember the Red Power Rangers name, but he was um, uh, he approached the two uh, soldiers or the two engineers, and one was like uh, um, a giving a, like questioning what they were doing. Nero, thank you, and Nero just straight up like like slices it. Just and I don't know if he was necessarily the uh, like the guy he sliced was a spy, I think. Right? Can someone fact check me on that? Is consider one of the more chill dudes of the empire. <laughs> yeah, it was a spy. Okay, all right. Never mind. That makes sense. All right, that that's cool. That's cool. I, I thought so. I just wanted to make sure. Also, I still have to highlight that in the whole uh, <laughs> in our last. In our last primal uh, fight, a Garuda sitting there and she's like, "Oh, you know, we're gonna go get him, minions." And he just plays, he plays the most powerful spell, and it's called gun. He just shoots everyone. It's great. You guys see this name? You guys see this name right here? What's that say? This is the stupidest name. Scion, Dad! <laughs> I love it because as I get more titles, like, and especially with like the Maelstrom, it's like, ah, yes. Private Dad. Welcome in. Good to see you, Private. <laughs> Scion, Dad. <laughs> Can I not accept that? Oh, I can't do that here. All right, uh, none of that is good, so let's join the group here. A hero in need. Holding their own against Scarlet's force of Vildebrand and Earl Rotate's air along the third phase will begin. You must take the field once more. Mortal Flame shall strike Castro Meridian by the way of a di a diversionary maneuver. While the Garleans are thus locked in battle, you are to infiltrate the stronghold, bring down, yep. All right, so now I gotta go. I gotta go raise, raise the confidence of the peoples. Easy, easy peasy. Do I have anything? Okay, Black Rush Station. I can make that. Here we go, Lieutenant Dad. <laughs> he still has <laughs> Lieutenant Dad. <laughs> Rugaden's uh, last name is Bookshelf, so I get a Scion Bookshelf. <laughs> it, it really feels like they they're just making up names. Like, I know that you they give you the option to make your character's name, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. But it's just like, <laughs> Lieutenant Dad. <laughs> and I'm going the wrong direction. Nobody followed me. And nobody did. Good. I believe in all of you. You guys passed the test. She was called Private Mom. You should really have a uh, Rogatum with that name. <laughs> when to uh, boot camp, uh, basic, as my mom, she mothered of the other privates. I feel like I should apologize for that statement. I don't like it. I don't like I don't like what I said. Um 
I can respect what you what what you said, but I don't I don't like what I said. I don't I'm done. I'm just gonna keep moving it. Clip it, ship it, and YouTube has demonetized my channel. Just that quick. It's so fast nowadays. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the speed of uh, uh, witch hunts. <laughs> my mind didn't even get there. <laughs> this reminds me of the meme. Uh, 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 I can't remember the guy, but um, uh, the black actor who who voiced and and you guys might know he vo uh, voices Husk in uh, uh, Has Been Hotel, which I've been seeing clips all over the internet. Um, and uh, uh, he does the meme where he's like leaning back and he's like, "Welcome to hell, motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> That's what people feel like coming to my screen. There you go. <laughs> ah. ah, private debt. See, called it. There you go. Welcome to hell, mother... No. Logistically speaking, we are ready to march on Caster. Keith David. Is that his name? Is that his name? Is that is that the actor? He's in, he's been in so many different things. Like uh, he also voiced um, uh, Falsifer. Falsifer, I think that's his name. The uh, the main villain in uh, Princess and the Frog. And again, I have three daughters, so I know a lot of Disney movies. Keith David, Doctor uh, Facilier. There we go. Goliath and Gargoyles. Yeah. Oh, like it, like he's done so many things, and I love I freaking love that meme. <laughs> of him and I want to find better uses where he's like leaning backwards and screaming oh man about uh, uh. <laughs> um <clears throat> this guy's name's cracked fist by the way <laughs> he's in they live oh, I get a new weapon you mean the president? Yeah, the president from Rick and Morty. Exactly. He's all over the place, but he, I feel like, I honestly feel like he's such an underrated actor, right? Like he's been around with a lot of stuff and it's, it's just, I feel like everything that he, he's done, I've like, I've thoroughly enjoyed. Oh, we got, a, we got a new, we got a new weapon and it looks exactly the same. It's exact, it's exactly the same. There's no, no difference. Yeah, uh, Hunt he is. Um, uh, he plays uh, Husk, uh, the, uh, the the cat bat thing. I don't I don't know. I've only I haven't watched a single episode. I just have been spammed with nothing but YouTube shorts. It is all over the place, and I can't avoid it. <laughs> Godspeed, Private Dad. All right, we gotta go north. Here we go. After the first episode, I said no. Finally get to join the streamer parade. Everyone's here. Everyone's floating around. We're doing our things. Do, 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 do. The bartender. It keeps appearing on my Tumblr feed. You can't see. And that's and that's what's funny about the internet is even if you don't actually have any interest. Like, I didn't really have any interest in, in the show and all that. Like, I mean, it, it's an adult cartoon, but it keeps popping up because a lot of other people pop it up. And then what happens is that if you watch... One clip, this is how, how touchy YouTube, especially YouTube shorts. If you watch longer than like 10% of one clip, it just immediately just starts spamming you with it. Cause it's like, yeah, you watch that longer than a second. <laughs> it's like, well, damn, like I, like the kid was screaming at me. So I had to go and talk to him or like, you know, like my, my hot pocket was burning. Like what the hell? And it's like, nope, have been hotel. You get nothing but. Rob on. So it, stay, it stays in the back of your mind. Ugh. Welcome in, Revens. Husk cat with wings. Algorithm is crazy sensitive now. Oh, it is. And and uh, uh, this is actually something that I've been considering for a while because I've been doing launching streams on the, or uh, uh, not streams, what the hell are they? Uh, uh, YouTube shorts every um, every day that I wasn't doing a full-fledged video and that was my plan for a while but what I ran into was that people who watch my YouTube shorts would then get recommended my long-form videos where I want people to come and watch my videos that's kind of the point of me posting videos 
But what I found out is that the people who watched my shorts weren't interested in the long form videos. So my click through rates have like plummeted since I've been posting YouTube shorts recently. So it's like this, it's, it's this really touchy algorithm thing. So the, the, the live streams, YouTube loves. My videos, YouTube does great with. The shorts, even though they'll do really good, it ends up almost like hurting my channel. I've noticed that over the past like five or six videos um, that I've done. So probably gonna scale back with those, maybe put them onto the side channel, which I'm like, I'm so close to monetizing for that. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna uh, focus all my short form content over on that one. There we go. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we gotta go psych them up. Watch out for the super fans of that show. They'll froth at the mouth of you dare and say criticism. I, I haven't seen anything of the show to, to actually give it criticism. <laughs> I think that's what that's what's funny. It's like they're like, well, oh, you're saying bad things. And I was like, I don't know anything about this show. <laughs> what's it? Uh, there was a, um, a streamer that I watched uh, a long time ago um, or a streamer, uh, I should say, who uh, still I gotta psych. I gotta psych him up. <laughs> yeah. Get up. Um, and he said he goes basically having an opinion on um uh, uh what's it? Uh if you have an opinion online, say say for example your opinion is I like waffles. And he goes, You didn't just say you like waffles. What you really said was you hate pancakes. And he explained that he goes, that's what it's like having an opinion online. So you can't have an opinion. <laughs> It's done. <laughs> and by the way, we all know waffles are superior for many reasons. Hey, you mentioned Path of Exile once and now it's like, oh yeah, someone's talking about the game. You love this, click it. <laughs> That's how they get you. Some people make second channels for shorts. I, I do have a uh, side channel that I'm trying to... Oh, wait, I have to get, get off of my mouth. Um, where I do things like that, uh, where I post like short form videos and stuff like that, because I have an excess amount of clips that I have just sitting around. So I was trying to... I was trying to find a way, uh, like a, a proper outlet for them. And I think that's where I may, may end up going. And then like, honestly, it's, it's an extra way for uh, me to, uh, an extra step closer for me being uh, fully like capable of doing this full time, I should say. And uh, that's something that I'm, I'm looking to work on as I go. But that might be where I put my shorts as well as my, um, my, uh, my like clip channel, basically. I'm just gonna agree to disagree and <laughs> leave it at that cat. <laughs> With everything you said now, we must be. Am I doing the internet right? Them's fighting words. Is m pancake is more accessible. Syrup holding goodness. Waffles are the best. There, I feel like there's more versatility with waffles. Let me put it this way: pancakes, in my opinion, work a hell of a lot better in conjunction with bacon. Just saying. Just saying it. Damn, I actually didn't even see that. No. Waffles are stiff. <laughs> and just like that, old caffeinated dad just stirred the pot with everyone, pissed everyone off. How dare he have an opinion? <laughs> See, it's just that easy. Grapes are good. I like grapes. Yeah. Oh, and I, and I mentioned it, uh, uh, Sen uh, 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 Seneca, uh, you, you mentioned that uh, actually the, uh, when I first talked about it. Um, so on this LA trip to, for the, the whole Path of Exile thing, um, we stayed at this beautiful hotel. We stayed at this wonderful hotel and they gave us food vouchers. And one of the vouchers that they gave us was for dinner. So $50 for my wife, $50 for me. Um, and of course I got, I loved a good steak. So I went and basically spent the entire thing on steak. It was worth it to me, but I wanted to get my wife a dessert. So I bought her a dessert and Seneca, guess which one I bought her. Guess what I, uh, do you remember the story? Do you remember what I told you? Guess what I bought her? That's right. I bought her a big old plate of baguettes. <laughs> um, she, uh, uh, 
a long time ago, my wife and I went down to New Orleans, and uh, my uh, sister and my brother-in-law were with us, and uh, they have a very, very delicious... There we go. Sorry. Um, they have a very, very delicious uh, dessert called uh, beignets, and they're, they're, they're just absolutely delicious. If you put them right, they get, like, depending on which kind you got, they're, it's, it's fantastic. We went to New Orleans and we basically were like calling them beganets. We just kept reading them literally, beganets. And the death stares that we got were horrendous. Like it was, I actually felt like I got a curse on, uh, uh, uh be, on me because of, uh, because of that. Um, and <laughs> it was funny because like from there on, we're like, haha, joking beganets. And then like my sister started having like, you know, like, oh, well, you know, she kept having all these accidents. She opened up her car door one time and the wind blew so hard that it pinched her, her leg into the door. Like it was, it was terrible. Like it, it was just the worst thing. So we get to here, uh, uh, to this LA, uh, hotel. And I was like, yes, I'd like your largest plate of baguettes. <laughs> the waitress just was like, I'm sorry, what what did you want? She was trying to be nice. What did what was that? I was like, yeah, these baguettes. And I like show her on the menu. It's like baguettes right there. She goes, <laughs> she goes, those, sweetheart, those are called beignets. And I was like, I think I know how to read. I'm I'm pretty sure they're baguettes. <laughs> this is almost like one of those things that it's like you suffered through hell and you have a curse on you. Was it worth it? And I'm like, yes, it was. <laughs> I, anytime, anytime I go on these trips, anytime I go I, this trip, but I go anywhere, I make it a purpose. I work customer service for God, eight years, nine years or something like that. Like, the, oh, the curse, the curse was absolutely like if there is one there, then it's absolutely worth it. I made it a point in customer service to always be as kind and kind of joking with waiters, waitresses, whoever I'm working with. I worked it. I know what it's like. And I know the type of people that you run into. There are some straight up assholes who just take out all their anger and frustration on you. At least if I can do, if I can make you laugh just by doing something stupid, then that's fine. Um, but when I said that, I like, I fixed my glasses. I was like, um, <laughs> I think I know how to read in them like this. And I'm smiling. My wife is like, oh, my God, can you stop? Can you stop? <laughs> I'm like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I wanted to tell you that we had been uh, baguettes. We had some delicious baguettes on our trip. Um, Any one with fencing, right? Is it this one? Bending. There we go. Oh, we get another one. There we go. I'm the reason that we don't get invited. They're like taking notes and we're like, and caffeinated dad is definitely not coming back. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Godspeed, private dad. All right, let's ride. Enough story time. I know you guys were you guys are like, God, he keeps talking. The curse. That's the curse. Uh let's uh let's equip that bad boy. Wait, actually, I can just do it here, can I? Character. Boom. My goal is not just to be the worst person they encounter that day. So how do I make it fair for who joins the party? Um. That's actually, that's actually a good question. Uh, bu 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 bum. I'm sure that there's going to be, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll just have to random. Okay, we'll do, um, the Beganets. All right, so we need Galactic. Are you, you going to heal? Are you going to heal for this? BBV bite. You're going to DPS. All right, so we're going to need another DPS and a heal. Um, so for the healer spot, um, how about we do this? Um, everyone who is interested in healing, I'll think of a number. You guys, whoever got the closest to it gets the uh, the choice. Guys, guys, 
All right, so. <laughs> Ducky Tinser put 69. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex actually got it. The number I was thinking was of uh, uh, 47. All right, Alex, uh, you can get a, a, go ahead and get the uh, invite for healing. And now we're going to do DPS. <laughs> Rose, Rose is like, I got 69. <laughs> Outro. Okay, yeah, someone... Someone just absolutely destroyed that. All right, now we will do... Now we will do uh, DPS. All right, so the number is... Number is thought of... Uh, we'll say... Um, it's un We'll say uh, 1 to 100 is the range, just so everyone has a fair fight. And then uh, random number, go. Or uh, think of the number. I gotta scroll up now. Any more? I'm also looking at chat. <laughs> Jared said pie. All right, the number was 75. So, um, my Mikey, uh, I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try that one. Um, can I target you? Uh, M A I Q. There you go. All right, I do appreciate. I, 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 there's only so many spots that I can fill, um, and I'm uh, uh, absolutely hoping, <laughs> hoping you guys know exactly what you're doing because I'm tanking and I have no idea. All right, let's go. You said 81. Um, uh, my K said uh, 70 or uh, 76. 76. She was very, very close. Or Mikey, Mikey. They said 76. There we go. All right, here we go. Room for us all. Mash the axe buttons. I, I am back with a grumpy puppy. How to spot the main character, by the way. How do how do you spot the main <laughs> how do you spot the main characters? <laughs> No, not voice acted. They're all the players. <laughs> Phase two is a success. Yeah, I think I think I'll uh, I think that's the only fair. The only person who pro who will stay um uh will say instance over instance is probably going to be Galactic just because well he's the one who convinced me to play the game. <laughs> Damn, she's tiny compared to him. No, I guess she's not that tall, that that small. Cause I, I think he's just a normal. Is he a hure? Is he a hure or a uh, a Rogadin, a Rodigan? Highlander versus Midlander. Or uh, okay, all right. Highlander hure, yeah, okay. And camera angle, yeah, probably. <laughs> Memphilia is supposed to be a Thylander like. <laughs> Highlander. Zach, damn it.
<laughs> the adventurer caffeinated dad. <laughs> the stats just exploding through. <laughs> oh, let me turn this up a little bit so you guys can see or hear. For your safe return. Code again, too. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I, I think I saw some of Ko's videos. I think I've seen, I, I've seen that YouTuber. Let's do it. <laughs> Max height, f uh, female road, road again. Absolutely built like a house. Go now, caffeinated, and bring us one st closer step to dawn. Look at the stash. Beautiful. All right, let's do this. Big strong lady. <laughs> Big strong lady. There's nothing wrong with it. Alright, let's do it. Last one there. Go. Let me 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 go. I need to go. Bring it on. Let's go. I love doing that jump backwards. Heal me. Yeah, you hear that, right? I was sitting there wondering what the hell that was. Here, let me turn that down just a hair. So I, it was kind of loud. Heal me. <laughs> Heal me. Come on, let's go. I popped a uh, rampart. We're good for a minute. I didn't actually think that it would really be an issue, I'll be honest with you. Watch it. Doesn't look like there's any projectile or, or uh, targeting rectical. Come here. Come this way. I got vengeance rolling.
Careful with kiting. I was okay, I think. Alex, let me let me know if I, if I'm not doing something uh uh right. Cuz if if not, I'll just blame Galactic and say that uh it was it was all Galactic's fault. <laughs> I like how you stopped the tech. Like, hey. <laughs> Throw battles up. <laughs> Galactic has even said that his like healing isn't like really his thing. It was just on the lower dungeons I always made him do it. Got this month, so less meat. You didn't make me do it. I was I didn't think I was gonna make you do it. I was gonna ask you if you wanted to. Guessing we're going this way because there's bad guys this way. They're getting their asses handed to them. Meow me. <laughs> oh, they're saying meow me. You know, it's for it's for Papa Meow. For a boy. I love it when the game knows. The game knows. Meowdy. <laughs> Those big numbers. Watch out for the targeting recticles. I'm very poor at tanking. Probably work better if we all like focused one thing down instead of just trying to eat everything. Uh, I guess we go we go this way. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Big bad, big bad boss. Big AOE, deals less damage further you are away. See, I'm paying attention. Tank Buster, Rampart Pop. See, I'm paying attention. Oh, we got a limit break. Someone, someone, someone do a cool limit break. Galactic. Am I paying attention? I thought I was. What am I doing wrong?
I am casting. What are you talking about? Luigi, I'm casting everything. I'm like, I'm like trying to figure out like, damn, like, am I really doing something wrong? No, no, no. Oh, look at these big bads. Guys, Galactic's making fun of me. Hmm. I have to turn like this. I don't like being packed up into the wall. It makes it a little bit difficult for the... Uh... I saw. Thank you. Alex, thank you. Jeez. Hey, Galactic, did you ever figure out why your uh, omelets at your uh, personal house are always, uh, like, smoking hot? Like, how does that work? They have to run out of, like, heat at some point. It doesn't make sense. Also, did you leave your tap on? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Oh, okay, Sid. Magic X, his house avoids the law of entry. <laughs> Time for blood. Dude, I killed like two of your bosses and he's like, that's as far as you'll go. Really? Really? Andrew, welcome in, buddy. Good to see ya. Learn an acceleration pedal. Black, why are you pulling off of me? Actually, that's my fault. A good tank accepts his faults. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm on board for this one. Oh, 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 oh you bitch. Can you guys hear that? You guys can hear, right? I want to make sure that the background music is at least a little bit higher so that y'all can hear. <laughs> one, 1v1, right now. Let's go. I swear, I'm, I can't wait to put an axe here. Let's do this.
Come on, load. Oh, okay, that's just an AoE. I can't do anything about that. I was trying to think if, like... What do you guys think? Like, do you guys think I'm gonna die at some point? Alex has been healing pretty, pretty damn well. Rampart is up. Ate it like a tank. You have made me rough. No problem. I like how she's like, it's over. I was like, bitch, you, di you didn't even touch me. I don't know if I like that sentence. No, no, just thought about it. Why can't I attack? Oh. I didn't itch. Let the DPS do the work. Moving her back. I don't know if I have one. We'll do, yeah, we'll do vengeance. Didn't do shit. Got a limit break. Someone's doing one. That tickled. Final kill. Yeah. Bitch. Damn, they were really in love with Gaius. <laughs> okay. Oh, Raymond, you were Alex all along? Nice. Now stomp on her just to be sure. I was swinging an axe at the, uh, the shield, bro. Final confrontation awaits. It's kind of rad, dude. Got all the armor, got the gun. But that's how you die mad about. <laughs> the relics of long lost civilization, which perished several ages ago, is said that they contain the knowledge of the Algae Empire. Okay. Wait, hold on. Everyone dancing. Everyone doing their thing. Wait, uh, and just here. Hold on. That's how, that's how, that's how he laughs, by the way. Oh, dear. Tombs, uh, tombstones get you level, uh, 57. Oh, geez. We found the grind. We're doing it, folks. Big brain gaming. All right, let's go talk to Robon, who's still just standing here. Mm, 
I would say probably aiming, I guess. Be my best. The ultimate weapon. It will carry you through most of the way through the expansion. It's not that bad, Dad. You literally uh, uh, get them just for existing. Okay. Should be able to nab uh, the weapon too. Mm -hmm. Grind isn't that bad, except uh, you, uh, you want them on all classes. Oh boy. Gotta go do some work. Yup, it all falls down to the stash. Okay, I already have all the recommended gear. Okay, see you. Alright, let's, let's head back to, uh, head back over there. Cone gear lasts until a little, uh, maybe with you. They're hard cap at 2,000, so spend them as you get them. How many did I just get, though? I'm to check my currency. I'll gain tombstones. Okay, so I got 200. Okay. That's not that bad. 200 isn't all that bad. Alright, we gotta go to the airship. The Enterprise. Going on the bottom right. Oh, okay. Well, that's fast. Nice. Alright, let's go talk to our boy, Sydney boy. at your disposal. We'll head to the Praetorium. Alright, uh, so we need... How many do we need for the, uh, Praetorium? Galactic. Is it just four? All right, so, yeah, so here, let's do this. Highest one out of 100 wins. Roll 100, healers. Ducky got a 52. I'm like looking back and forth, making sure. Oh, well, he didn't roll, random roll. <laughs> no one wants to heal. Kirstum got a 72. Digits got a 78. Tax fraud, 94. Ducky Tinsler got a 92. Three. <laughs> Someone got a three. Rolls 140, 58. All right, I think that was, I think that was it. Is that all? Do we have any more? Tax Frog got a 94. Ducky Tinsler got a 92. Alrighty. Tax Frog. Tax Frog won it. Okay, there we go. I gotta find you. Oh, it's our. There you go. Alrighty. Now we will do the same thing. Highest roll for uh, a DPS after I've typed it. Hold on, wait. Kristen <laughs> got a 97. All right, uh, Kristen, you already rolled. Kristen rolled twice, it looks like, but uh, the first, it, it doesn't matter because all the damn good rolls were right there. 98, 97. Kaika. Oh, <laughs> poor Kaika got a four. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the 98's invalid, but the 98 and the uh, 97 were the same person. <laughs> first one was before the go.
Yeah, first one actually was before the go, but then the second one was after this it got even higher. Damn. All rigged. So they get one. They get a one. Uh, you didn't, I didn't know you were going to type that. All right, that's fine. All right, I think that's it. I think we're good to go. Let's do Praetorium. Yeah. I shouldn't do that. That's, a, that's not a good place. Here we go. Gotta fill up my water. Gotta stay hydrated. Water wall pool. We're going in. Uh, I got the four with the crap. There was a long run in the last few weeks where I got a uh, nice short one after uh, Praetorium. Unskippable cutscene. Yep. I'm just just gonna let it happen, let it ride. They could have at least voice acted this last little bit, I think, right? Yeah, I'll say grab a grab a bottle of water. I don't know. I might take a. I'm. I always record my streams anyway, so. Oh, there we go. You keep hydrating. I'm drinking whiskey. Look, well, you ready? Yes, I got a little whiskey bear. <laughs> this is when the editing gets really rough. All right, let's do it. Oh, thanks, Dan. There we go. Damn, Sid just like straight up left us. I'm just going to assume safely that where there's bad guys, that's where we need to be. Oh, I parried something. That was actually a really cool animation. All right, let's move. Oh, did we jump out the window? Oh, we jump out the window. Oh, that's cool. Why are there soldiers just chilling here? Explain that to me, Yoshi P. I'll admit the Magitek Reapers take like forever to bring down. And skiddy -giddy -giddy -giddy. It is being raided. Yeah, I get don't don't give me logic. Need logic, I need war. Of course, soldiers would just affect. Do you think with like everything that they're doing, do, do you ever like realize that these guys could be like maybe were the bad people? Like, does that ever come across our mind? No. I actually think I would have liked it more too if it was an eight man. I think that would have been pretty cool. Why can't I click it?
Are we the baddies? Oh, is this Gaius already? I'm just gonna. Ah, oh, Sydney boy, you are late. Arc Wizard is Mikey. Welcome in. Netflix time. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Unskippable cutscenes. Not uh, baddies here for uh, but war of light to kill slaves in the copper bell mines. Well, it depends on how you look at it, I guess. We'll we'll say uh, conflict of interest. Interesting power play right here. It makes the loser sad. What the actual shit is that? And why was it just like right, right below the floor? <laughs> like, it's just... <laughs> like, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but it's just like the elevator went down like five feet and helped out this giant ass. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'm not saying that I wouldn't command a giant robot. I just think it's hilarious that it was just like, that he was just like two feet down. Like, always oh, his props ready. That was a bit much. Spam all the buttons. Pop my cooldowns. Big swing, big beefy swings. Tag it like a boss. That storm's path was weak as shit. I don't think that was a comboed one. Pop a cooldowns. I think we're okay. Tax Raw, what do you think? Good. Do I need to pop cooldowns? I think we're good, right? See? We're good. All right, here we go. Let's go, Jason. He hasn't seen it yet. It's wearing a Speedo. Wait, what? Was that robot really wearing a Speedo? Oh, wait. I have to press the button. Because apparently we all can't take the same elevator.
Oh, do I not get a mech? Oh, it's over here. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is actually a lot of uh, this is cool. All right, I'm on board for this. Oh, get out of the Are those I'm those guys must be wearing uh, 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 speedos. They kind I didn't even notice it. I wasn't looking looking there. I'll be honest with you. That was not my first thought, but I'm I'm glad you guys are here to tell me to look at the crotch of these guys. What the shit is that? God, it's like living the arms of the machine is living in the walls the shit is this the thing just popped out and we got it instantly nuked They did, which was kind of a bummer. Wasn't there a cutscene rec uh, where showing Maggie recognize you? They removed it. They are important. Uh, unskippable cutscenes. Nod. <laughs> I like how they showed like the side angle shot of him. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. See the Ironworks logo. Wait a second, what, was that Maggie? That was Maggie, wasn't it? I, I had a feeling, I had a feeling, especially because you guys, uh, uh, we were, uh, you guys kept mentioning a cutscene, and I was like, okay, what well, cutscene of what? And then Maggie dies. I did not miss the sadness here because of the helmet. The helmet made the scene better. Stoicism. And you leave her behind. Okay, Nero. Notice me, senpai monologue.
music is pretty cool too. You're gonna miss some funny character expressions here soon due to the the helmet. So what 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 do you guys what do you guys think? Here, look, I I can do this. How about I do this? Can I do? Let's start a poll. I won't take the helmet off all the way, but I can do that. That is the best that I can do. I can raise the visor. The helmet stays on, but I can raise the visor. That doesn't, doesn't break any of my rules. And I missed all of what Nero had to say. I'll have to look at that again. <laughs> I didn't ask you to garlic and high prom. <laughs> Such devastation. Says, notice me, senpai. <laughs> I wear a magic tag. She's in the cheer squad, and I'm in the bleachers. <laughs> Did you really just give me a Taylor Swift song, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> That is a badass hammer. That is the weapon. Uh, and you can't ever have it, damn it. That is a badass hammer, and you will never get it. Damn, he deals like 500 damage per hit. Oh, is that a stacking mechanic? I guess that's a stacking mechanic, right? Did I just run away from it? Yeah, probably. I know for next time. Okay, I was willing to die on my own so that you guys didn't have to. Nobody ever looks at me being the hero, right? No. I was the hero here. No, oh, no, you guys all immediately call me out for my shit. Mm. Ooh, that did 1,600 damage. All right, that didn't take a that didn't hurt as bad. And Finish boss, GG. Damn, I want that hammer so bad.
and he disappears. I wanted for 10 years would cleave the whole party for fun. He turned out the lights. Things are getting spicy. Or someone would make an animation of a hammer falling on the hero's foot. <laughs> no, I want a DPS of big weapon. I don't like tanky. <laughs> All right, come on. Come on, I want to kill the dude. Of course, Nero lives. Nero's foot. The echelon. Visor. Yep. Yeah, sorry. 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 Damn it. Look for the lips control panel. It'll be somewhere nearby. Take the lid down, and you should find yourself in the chamber of the ultimate weapon. It's gonna be. It's a big deal now because it's voiced, isn't it? The helmet stays on. I legitimately thought about that. I was sad. Uh, I was like, I, I was reminding myself. All right, well, 139 people said we're gonna do the helmet. Can't believe the betrayal. <laughs> you guys can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan all along the false sense of security there's nothing I can do I gotta lean into it now <laughs> we could all unsub that is true and you know what I can't stop you then <laughs> top day and anime betrayals How does that not look menacing? It looks mean over here. Nor is this unknown to your masters, which prompts the question why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Swan, to grovel at their feet? Yeah, you guys got a point. This elevator ride's been going on for like 55 minutes. How many breads have you eaten? <laughs>
Oh, 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 oh. gold, gold armor. Oh my goodness, guys! I got the, I got the, uh, uh, the shiny Gaius. Did you guys see? I got the random drop of shiny Gaius. Shiny. <laughs> Someone tell small ant. <laughs> Come, Gold is as soft as guy's logic. Oh my god, <laughs> Vendicular Ham. <laughs> Legendary drop. Big deal, he drops for everyone. Don't take my thunder. This guy has been talking for 45 minutes. For all the good it will do. There you go. The visor is down so that you guys can see. It's not doing a lot of good right now. I, I'll be honest with you, I completely forgot. After the narrow fight, I completely forgot. It wasn't even like I was trying to be rude or mean or anything. I just, <laughs> I forgot. Oh, watch tax world. I got Rampart. Is that going to be enough? I hope so. Oh, yeah, that was fine. Thank you. I popped it. Long ass elevator, damn. I'm not even paying attention to the boss. I do like Ice's gold armor. Say focus on one. We have to kill them all. That tickled. Dude, at some point you have to realize that you're not going to win. <laughs> On a single potato battery. Then again, putting a la la fell on a, uh, the, the treadmill is good for the la la fell. Zach, what? What? Yet, you lack the resolve to put into proper use. A waste. How is this dude still standing?
Oh, that's the end of the Praetorium? The helmet is up. The visor is up. There we go. How did he get up there? Allow me, then, hero, to do that which you will not. Climb like a monkey. In that giant ass suit of armor, he did not climb it. Like, he didn't, like, he didn't climb up like that. Anime jump. That's more likely. Oh, he's getting into the helmet. <laughs> you don't know. I don't need to know. Apparently, I don't. All right, Galactic. How many? Uh, how many people do we need for the? Uh... Is it just four? <laughs> I can go up its butt. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay, yeah, right. <clears throat> Seriousness. Here we go. I believe. I believe, Mom. Get the camera. You put all your eggs into into one basket. I'm just I'm just gonna call it. All right, where's the cool music? Oh, that's cool. It's like summoning other things or uh, uh, other uh, primals that we've slain. Why Why did we ride the ele elevator all the way down just to ride it all the way back up? Explain that to me, Batman. Unionization in a very secure hangar. Break me out. Come on, Crystal Mom.
You're so mommy. Kind of weird that I said it like that. There's Garuda. Not a lot that we can do, I guess, from that one. I'm gonna keep him positioned right here. It's so perfect. You guys love to see it. This dude is beefy as shit, though. I guess there's really nothing we can do. Do we just eat this? Oh, Crystal Mom. And he's not taking any damage. Okay, never mind. Crystal Mom bail out again. Okay. I was gonna say, it can't do anything, big AOE damage. Look at that. This this really does make me kind of miss rating. I'm not gonna lie to you. So this is the strength of the Icon Slayer. Crystal Mom bail out. Crystal Mom bail out. I'm gonna take this time to uh, promote the mustache cup. <laughs> because I can do so. The guy slowly got stripped. Didn't like that one there. Didn't 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 really like that sentence. You want the you want the real answer? You want the real answer? My boy. It is the blessing of light that confounds you. Lahabria. Hmm. 
your foe acts under the protection of the crystal he bears. So, this is what empowers him. Helmet is still on. Mortal limits. Helmet is still on. The elevator is still going up, by the way. It's been going up for 15 minutes. Damn. The shield of light. And so it shall. For the Ultima weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet ignorant. Speak plainly, Asian. The heart of Sabik. It is the weapon's core. An enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars of ancient Alec failed to scratch. The magic within has lain dormant for eons. Of what magic do you speak? A spell without parallel. Ultima. Brothers in Lotto Monolo. I sought the life force of the primals for no other reason but to quicken the core. For the true power of the Ultima weapon lies within its now. This whole cutscene has taken five to seven business days for them to actually process. Does it look like just like any other piece of metal? The hour is at hand. Behold, but a sliver of my God's power. From the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens. The world shall tremble. Unleash Ultima. He he what a dick. He did it like right in the elevator. At least wait until you get to the roof. Say the line, guys. What's the line? <laughs> Such devastation. <laughs> Every one of you is so beautifully on the high. Keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength. Such devastation. Your enemy's shield is broken. <laughs> he said the thing. The rest I leave to you. We will speak later. <laughs> Line in the game. <laughs> Much devastation, first, not intent. I must deal with you. The question of who is mightier remains. <laughs> We've done this like 80 times uh, for each of uh, the tombstones. Such a meme fun. Oh, come on, music. Cranking that. I'm 
paying attention. I'm learning. I guess that you guys were supposed to pop those or something. Caught it. Putting that work for DPS, let's go. listening for big fat talkers. you galactic Buster. In the middle. Popping all the cooldowns. Just because I got them. That first time it actually really friggin' hurt. This is a healing intensive fight. Good gracious, man. That's actually a really cool combo that he, he does it as he's putting that out. Like, as he's going into his uh, uh, big area of effect hit. Like, that's when he also puts out his, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh Citadel Buster. That's pretty cool. I like that. I didn't stack for something, did I? I didn't. It's actually rare to see that, a boss that's using his brains. This is cool though, that it's like... Do that one. Okay, yeah, we'll do Rampart and that should be good. Only half of my HP. This is DPS check. Oh, the 
just strands it. Limit break. Someone limit break. I did a lot of damage, but he's still standing. Galactic, please. No problem. Who was worried? Who was worried? You guys aren't worried. No, 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 no. Such devastation. Yeah. I put on that mini eye, eye level. Super Saiyan's done. No more Super Saiyan. Feed me. The subjects of a weak ruler must needs look to a higher must needs. power Damn it. of providence, Hello there. and their dependence comes Cypher, at welcome to the club. To the, realm. the misguided elevate the frail, and the frail lead the people astray. Unless a man of power rests control, the cycle will never be broken. Can we just go over there and make sure he's you. dead dead? Can we just you can we just go verify? To rule. Can we just and we're all dead. How did we not die? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, is he not gonna do it? No, he didn't do the fist pump. What? He didn't do the fist pump. What the hell? All right, well. That was, no. Like, I was gonna meme the hell out of that because it's like, he did a fist pump for everything, and then it's like, yeah, no, I ain't doing that, Chief. <laughs> Warrior of Light, gotta sweep up your shit again, guys. Oh, I can, I can land this just right. All right, well, you gotta get a little closer. Yep, we are making sure this dude does not come back. Double tap. <laughs> Sweeping up evil. Cleaning up your shit over here again, Guardians. Bam. All right. Let's leave the duty. <sighs> I knew there was going to be a cutscene. Is he going to pop back up? I swear to God, if he pops back up, I'm going to be so pissed. Hey, Nino. What's up, buddy? You boasted of unrivaled power. You were entrusted with the ultimate weapon. The ultimate magic. And still, you failed. So much for the glory of man. Yeah, he's on our shit list next. Oh, is it happening? Are we throwing down right here? Yo! The growing imbalance afflicting the planet must be redressed. If it is permitted to worsen, the very laws of existence, both etheric and physical, will be warped beyond it's all. About recognition. damn time. Know you the root of this corruption? Hydalin. <laughs> like and not be bothered. She must be burned out if the planet is to recover. Some red guy, big axe. Yeah, it's time to throw down. And not 
but the return of the one true god will ensure her complete exist. This guy I'm I'm excited for. I like I'm cuz I know that it's not necessarily Thancre. It's not Yet, really Thancre. Pave the way for the master's return. A chaotic confluence of untold proportions must needs be brought about. And that will necessitate the presence of the primals. Needless to say, both you and your scion accomplices cannot be suffered to interfere in this endeavor. You will not leave this place alive. Make me. Should I put the visor down? Is it time to put the visor down? Because we're about to go to war. Visor goes down. Visor down or up? Does it stay up or down? What are we doing? Visor up, visor down. Keep it up. I don't know. You guys just keep saying yeah. What is it? What does yes mean? What are you agreeing to? Visor up, visor down. <laughs> I like how you guys are all viciously like, no, don't put it down. Don't put it down. Don't put it down. Oh, it's game time. We're locked and loaded. Uh, oh, hey, look, it's Hawk Moth. Yay, from uh, uh, Misadventures of, of Ladybug. <laughs> the visor is down. It's time for war. I didn't come all this way to, to look pretty. Jack and McBones, welcome in. Hey, wow, that was like 80% of my HP. Not cool. I still hitting him from this distance actually. I got I have questions. Power of darkness ravages your body. if I didn't hit like a wet noodle. I'm actually getting like Decently, we'll say. Where are you firing that at? Come on, come over here. Forth, my shadows, and this is gonna, this is gonna take a while. A lot of dodging, tons and tons of dodging. You to, don't point that at me.
Am I regenerating HP? Yes, I am. I think I'm going to get it. Nope. Definitely not getting that in time. This seems kind of dramatic for an overkill, I'm not going to lie. That seems kind of... Kind of, kind of dramatic for an overkill. Damn, that's, that's tough. How the hell am I supposed to beat that? I'm somehow still breathing. Did you guys really just like, oh, time to re-roll, oh, DPS check, you're not good. Y'all are a pain in the ass. I wanna stress this to each and every one of you who are watching this. Y'all are a serious pain in the ass. I'm like lacklusterly DPSing. <sighs> that was good. I, I was I was a little hesitant to believe you immediately, but I thought I actually died because I, I failed a DPS check. I'm not okay right now. shit right now. <laughs> I was like, damn, they can't, it, like, I, I was waiting. I'm waiting for the time for the moment that the fight gets, like, like, too damn difficult. Too difficult for me to do because I have, you know, underperforming gear or something like that. I thought that that was the moment. do it again too. <laughs> guys are really building a, uh, a, a, a relationship of mistrust here. Just gonna say what it is. Just saying.
We do so, do so for your own good. Finish him with Tomahawk. Finish him with Tomahawk. Oh, we got the finish with the Tomahawk. Now go break that crystal. Get Thankward back. Into thinking that his predictions are wrong is key. <laughs> Hey, Nino. I appreciate it, buddy. We did it. A realm reborn. Finished up. Oh. Oh, you fucked. You know you fucked now. I do remember this. This was literally what happens right as your character is starting. Like, I do remember that and then it cuts away. I even commented on this. What? Gentlemen. What? Poor Thanker, damn. Nino gifted another one. Witchy Bunny, welcome to the call if cold. Oh damn, everyone's showing up. Oh damn, we're all just charged. Look at this distinguished gentleman. <laughs> we're all just charging at his ass. <laughs> we're just start screaming. I don't got friends. I got family. <laughs> My guy's bald. My guy's bald. This is such a a a perfect time for Vin Diesel's. I ain't got friends. I got family. <laughs> the perfect timing. <laughs> Wake up, Thancred. Time to wake up, Thancred. Dominic Toretto when you need Right? That's what I'm thinking. That was that was my whole ass thought. Wake up, Thancred. Thancred, wake up. They just dropped Dawn Trail. Thancred. I don't want to die here, Thancred. <laughs> Maggie! Somehow still alive. Just the nod. Just the nod. <laughs> Look at Tancred in the back, though. Oh, how it. See? Double tap. Guys, double tap. And so my conquest ends, Sid. Double tap. In smoke and ashes. Such devastation. <laughs> you okay back there, Thankred? Flop, 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 flop. Here. There's so many cutscenes, and I'll be honest with you, I drank so much liquid that I really have to get up and go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom, but I know that there's like very important Warrior things that I have to watch. Light. 
You see lives. what I'm struggling for, you guys. You see this. The darkness hath fled before the unclosed brilliance of thy spirit. Yet it lingereth still beyond the sight of men in forgotten corners of the world. <laughs> If you want to, you can just pause and come in. Like, you see the efforts. It's here. Thank you, Crystal Mom. I'm Caffeinated Dad. Have we met? Nine minute credit sequence. A gentle light shineth all the realm of Eorzea. Seventh Astral Era. We're in Umbra era. Uh, base A, uh, a realm reborn is Umber, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Needs From must, as the kids road, say. Shall it swell to glorious sun, and all the world I cannot wait to recap everything that happened on this stream, the last stream. Huh? Bye, bye, mom. Bye, mom. Blessings and joy be upon thee. Go forth, my child, and be as a beacon of hope for Eorzea and the lands beyond through all the days of thy life. Bye, Mom. Okay, cool. She just straight up just... Just rolled out. Okay. My lady. All twin adder units have fallen back to the outer perimeter. Yeah, she's just going out for some milk. That's all. The flames have completed their withdrawal, General. Actually, hold on. I can I can hold this. Hold this. Yep. Oh, good God. Okay. <laughs> Such a, <laughs> you guys are jerks. I had I had far too many liquids. All hands accounted for. <laughs> Scared the piss out of my dog though. I like broke open that door to go out there and my dog's laying there in the hallway. He still Did I wash my hands? Yes there. I did. Thank you. I have kids. Example set. Sid, has there been no word? Only 80 more main nothing, story quests. Nothing at all. I'm here for it. We got we got a lot of work to do. Baba Meow. He's going to make it. I know he is. Ida is right. We must have faith. Sid, can they not be evacuated aboard the Enterprise? Evacuation complete. <laughs> This, this is very that well done. Adventurer and the Scions are as the warriors of light reborn. We cannot abandon them to their fate. Not again. I wholeheartedly agree, but flying into the midst of that would only add to the fireworks. There must be something we can do. Where's your sister? Please, Mother Hydaelyn. Please light his way through the darkness. 
Look into the light, my child. If thou would see thy companions return safe to thee, she's doing other stuff. To them now. It's past Mare. her bedtime. Oh, <laughs> pop him out. Uh oh, oh, right there. <laughs> Oh, it makes it so much better with the visor down. Our warrior of light. Yes, the hero returns. <laughs> Thank you. is with him. <laughs> Why did they both point at the same time? Thank Hydenin. What? That was so good. Welcome home. That was so good. I love it. All right. <laughs> Damsel Thancred. Poor Maggie's messed up. Yeah, the everyone everyone's all right here in the same spot. Everyone was all in the same spot ready to go. Watching your summary videos and happy uh <laughs> happy to have been here to witness your completion tonight. Give me Tokyo. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You this has been a lot of fun like Remember and again it, 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 i think the we best part about this is that this is part fault. of the base game thank the 12 we're safe mind your horns oh are they just going more? they're just going straight they into the uh, credits your manners. though the crystal that bound thancred is no more i doubt we can say the same of la habrea still free roll credits and even if we could we know that he is not alone. Confounded bastards. Just one, congrats. We made it, guys. We did it. Their god may be unknown. The stash has finished. A realm Their reborn. Seal is unquestionable. Success. Suffice it to say, it would be folly to assume that they no longer pose a threat. Now stay for all the credits. Nevertheless. Post game at uh, a realm reborn is so long though. Like, they're not lying. It is a very long cre uh, credit scene. Well, guys, I I do want to mention that this it is like twelve. It's nearly twelve thirty for me. It's midnight. It's past midnight for me. So, is it really that long? Should I get a cup of coffee? For now, we must savor what piece we have won. Look at this distinguished <laughs> gentleman. Thank you, everyone. You I appreciate that, Vinicular. Our first step Thank you for the uh, the gift of memberships and uh, Morinci. I appreciate the donation. Thank you. Now Look a whole bunch of y'all, everyone. Gentleman. We got. If you guys have the coffee mugs, go ahead and toss them. If you guys got them, go Look ahead and toss them. Distinguished gentleman. Look at this. If you guys got the mugs, gentleman. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Look I'm. A, I'm actually. I'm. A, I'm. I'm very grateful that you guys watched along. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Wait. So are there? These are all the voice actors. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Oh, okay. Friends, the dread knight of imperial this tyranny, distinguished Anassian gentleman. Machination is ended. No skipping. It's a good time to reflect on your journey. <laughs> oh, for the different languages. Okay, that makes more sense. True Look to their this name, distinguished gentleman. The of the Welcome to the caffeinated cult, guys. We made it. Game is in four languages. Okay, that makes that makes more sense. Darkness. Get very or or very emotional vampires. Gentlemen, serve to remind us of our shared history. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Despite a lot of people saying that it was it was uh, slow, like they they made such a very big point of them of the game being slower and you know taking a long time i actually only really felt that like once or twice like really th that was it give me tokyo thank you for joining the cult caffeinated cult as a coffee enjoyer i appreciate that look at this distinguished gentleman uh let's see let's go with the 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 laser eyes the laser eyes it's about to slow down that reputation applies to post a Oh, okay. All right. For there exists no adversity intentionally, so no. he doesn't know. Prevail. I don't know. I'm just Look figuring this no out. Can turn a blind eye to the suffering of our allies. Bob A. P. M. Welcome to the caffeinated cold. No Thank you very much. Toss out those mugs if you guys got them.
Boop. Boom, 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 boom. We made it. It was a long time coming, I think. So too must our neighbor. I think I have put, if I had to guess, in Final Fantasy XIV thus far, I probably have put in 30 to 40 hours, I think. I think is the, is the, uh, the, the about the range. I think so. Like 30, 40 hours through here probably is about accurate. See a day, not so very far from now, when the lines that divide our lands fade, and all of Eorzea... Also, can we just talk about that Nero? Nero survived. It has been but five can we just can we just point that out? Battle of Cartino. Five years since the advent of the seventh umbral. Era. Oh, the command! I can't do the command right now. No victory, however sweet, can wash away our bitter sorrow. Nero survived, no by the way. Just calling it. And now he has a vendetta against Sid. Yet do not presume you Basically are a conqueror. <laughs> by dwelling on the past. It was not the past they fought for. You would repay their sacrifice by... No, I'm saying that he's... It, like, he had to... It, like, in my mind, he had to have survived. Right? As the warriors of light, you he had to have survived because, like, we personally killed the now other, like, the four. We watched Gaius explode. Nero, Nero, like, disappeared Eorzea into the shadows. Just saying. Five years ago, Eorzea bore witness to the end of the sixth astral era. <laughs> Just do. <laughs> now, the seventh umbral era draws to a close. You guys know something. Together, you guys know something, and I don't like it. But to mark I don't like it. Beginning. Disagreeing with it. Slipped on a banana peel and said, <laughs> Did we watch Gaius explode? Yes, we did! I'm so glad that she uses a gun. Time for bed. Have a good night. Stoic, you have a good night too, buddy. I'm, I'm not too terribly far behind you. Look at Thank. <laughs> did anyone see Thankrit's face? <laughs> They said the thing, and thus a realm is reborn. How, how do I skip it? Oh, okay. Escape. Escape, yeah, escape. Damn, damn, y'all chill. <laughs> and this one too. Special thanks and skip. Okay, here we go. Are the 1.0 players? Oh, that's pretty cool. Wow, such skipping. Oh, caffeine headache. I'm invested now. Oh, that's that's probably fine. That's probably fine. That's 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 not any problem. <laughs> Did you hear that? 
There's no time to spare. Where is it coming from? Dread tidings, chaos and carnage. <laughs> it is an abomination. A primal, a primal has awakened. Very fine. Everything is fine. Hawkmoth, can you just give us like five minutes? I, I don't like this one. That's the one I like the least. <laughs> so now we have the, the new evil gang. Oh, damn, there's a lot of them. Do you think Do you think that they they all go to the same tailor to get their uh uh robes? Do you think maybe they, <laughs> Professor Fiend <laughs> Shatter Wizard Muddy Gang. <laughs> we love casting spells. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Zodiac. All right. Let's go. Let's go enter the solar. Talk to Minfilia and then I was told that I should head outside. Clappity clappity clap. Thank goodness I did not need to talk to him. Yeah, finish with. Uh, scene of uh, Solar use uh, uh, context except for in this in Game of Thrones. Oh, flying's unlocked. I can fly. <laughs> All right. I was told that I should go outside. I'm going to fly on that chocobo. Fantasia of, of a lame cure. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw that. I think that I saw that they made a very big point about the, uh, them being able to fly. That that was cool. That's cool. All right. RPing. <laughs> I appreciate all of this carnage. Do it. Shoot. Do your worst. Wait, hold on. I have Maggie's key. Is that a key item? No, it's not a key.
Does that work? Hold on. Mounts. Look at that. I get Maggie. What? Get on your own such devastation. Listen, this is cool. I, I, I'm just going to go out and say, you guys know what I mean. You like you. For those of you who've been watching since the beginning, since I, I initially just started doing this, I, uh, it's actually only been about a month and a half, you know, two months or something like that. I don't know. But I will say that it has been an absolute ride. And this is only just the beginning. I mean, hell, like, all the, uh, the, the content and everything that I have that's even just before me. Like, right now I have at least seven hours of footage to go through just for, like, a 1, 15, 20 minute video. So, I'm excited to share this journey. And I'm so glad that you guys have been able to be here with me through the base game, through 2.0, through Realm Reborn. Uh, it, it's, it's been, it's been fantastic. I've enjoyed myself, uh, uh, meeting all you guys, all the new people here. So I'm, I'm humbled by you guys is what I will say. I also do want to give, of course, the biggest shout out to Galactic. Galactic has been pestering me and, and convincing me to come and try Final Fantasy 14 for about two years now, two whole years. Um, and... I don't think that I would have jumped in into the game without him actually convincing me that it was worth my time. And I did. And I, I do not regret a single moment of it. It has been a wild ride. Um, so, so with that, I do want to say thank you to each and every one of you. I want to say thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, going along the Realm Reborn journey. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's just say that there's more to come. Vicky, thank you for grabbing a cup. Welcome in. I do also want to go ahead and give a shout out to uh, everyone uh, from earlier tonight. Uh, Tim for joining the club. Nino for gifting some memberships. Gimme Tokyo for joining the club. And then also the donation as well as Vernicular Ham with all the uh, the gifted subs. Bobby PM and then of course Vicky. I, I appreciate it, guys. Uh, that is all a part of the journey. What I'm trying to do is, uh, is to make this my full-time job. So I don't have to go to work and, you know, miss things with the kids or always be worried about uh, my nine to five. That's what the goal is. That's what I've been doing here for, I don't know, three years now. And I have never been as humble as I am at this moment. So thank you. Thank you, each and every one of you. So with that, I will say um, uh, the uh, next uh, couple of days, I'll be having the uh, um, uh, my Path of Exile 2 stuff that I was invited to to go out and share with you guys. I'm excited for that. Um, and then, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see where the journey takes us. How about that? Aside from that, everyone have a great night. I appreciate you all hanging out, watching this uh, this journey from uh, start to finish. And you know the you guys know the drill at this point. Stay caffeinated, folks. <laughs>